I was just watching the highlights of O'Malley versus Sterling last night and obviously O'Malley uh, knocked Sterling out in the UFC uh, but what was really interesting for me and it's always really interesting is Sterling then as the defeated uh, then speaking to Joe Rogan and doing the kind of post-match uh, or post-fight kind of uh, talk and congratulating O'Malley um, really hum really humbled by you know being kind of out out skilled but equally saying that you know all, all kudos to O'Malley for chasing his dream like we all should be doing and then turning to the audience to the crowd and saying that every one of us should be doing every single day of the week and it, it, it's so obvious and it kind of like that will be kind of like in and out of the ears of most people, but it's so obvious that that should be the case, but it's so, so, so frequent that I see people who know every single quote there has ever been written in terms of motivation, in terms of drive, in terms of getting it done, in terms of exactly what he's just said, but who cannot put it into daily habits, who cannot put it into just daily actions, small incremental gains forward, because those gains forward, those incremental improvements are not big enough. They're not a big enough reward for the person to be kind of continu continuing to see. And that's what, you, that's what you see in absolutely anything. And that's why it's, that's why people can't move forward in, in and improve in certain things that they're not very good at because they don't get that initial reward very quickly and that's why it's such a big opportunity for most people um and it's it's so easy to see that in in running because what you usually get and i was speaking to somebody about this yesterday is when you when you're a kid kind of forced into running or you're forced into sport in some way you have to do your in the UK you have to do your two hours of sport and that means you, you kind of have to show up and you have to kind of you either enjoy it or you don't enjoy it and you're not going to have a good two hours whatever yeah but it's better to enjoy it and you're having a crack with your mates I went to an all, all boys school and it was kind of like a, a, a very fiercely competitive environment I'm very very grateful for it it teaches you a lot of life skills and with running <sighs> It was weird at my school because it was both a punishment. Whenever you did something wrong, you kind of had to run around the six rugby posts. And whenever you did um, well in running, then you would be going to different schools around the country and competing in track and field and in cross country. And you were seen as, I guess in America, you would call it a jock, but it was really kind of higher status in a school. If you managed to get in the football team, if you managed to get in the rugby team, if you managed to get in the running team, cross country team, track and field team, badminton team, chess team, whatever team you managed to get in. If you were one of the best in your year or one of the best in the school, that was a higher status. So everybody was aiming for that thing, especially in physical sports. And I guess at some point, when you're not, when you finish school or when you finish college and that's no longer organized for you, you no longer have to do it. And therefore the question naturally comes as you kind of, maybe you go out for a run and you're 17 or you're 19 years old and you're no longer at college or, or school and you know, it's no longer organized for you and you no longer kind of have your peers around. You're kind of thinking, well, why am I doing this? What is the reason for this? And, and of course we know the reasons for exercise. We know chemicals it releases and it makes us better at our jobs. It makes us more productive, it makes us more creative. It makes us better to be around. It makes us more successful, essentially, yeah? It also makes us physically um, more well-rounded. It makes our cardiovascular system uh, better and therefore we have more energy. So, so many, there's a thousand benefits to running. There's a thousand benefits to being dedicated to a sport and doing it every day and getting better at it. And especially if you're not very good at it. And it, I will always say that if you go to see, whenever I do marathon, I usually do marathons as training now. I'll do marathons at kind of 90%, run two hours 40, and and depending on where you are in the world, you come first or you come 100th, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. What is really fascinating for me is to see the, the latter end, people who are doing five, six hours for the marathon, seeing them putting all the effort in, it doesn't come naturally to them, but, but they're putting all that effort in and they're making it happen slowly. They're just going a little bit faster than walking pace, but they're making it happen. And it's not just that day that they're working that hard for five or six hours, more than double that I've worked. 
it's the months and maybe years before that that they have stuck at something that doesn't come naturally to them. They've tried to gradually improve at something that doesn't come naturally to them. And that says so much about that person, so much more than it does about me, who I have a natural gift for running and therefore it comes easier. And therefore that feedback loop, that positive feedback loop is much easier to, to get into and obtain. For that person, it's a grind. And it's much, much more difficult. And that means that person has got a secret weapon. And so if you're out there and you're kind of struggling to, to run, you know, if, you, if you're struggling to run a pace that you feel at the moment is unobtainable, but you're aiming for it, that is so much more admirable, so much more honorable than somebody who is naturally gifted, who's running two, two hours, two minutes, uh, and, and coming first in the Berlin Marathon. It's so much more admirable because, because you're sticking at something that doesn't come naturally to you. You're sticking at something that you're not getting paid for. You're sticking at something that you know maybe you don't really enjoy it but you know that if you stick at it you gradually will enjoy it and you gradually will enjoy getting out there and you maybe you're doing it for community you're doing it to meet and have positive friends positive influences in your life maybe you're doing it um uh, to to improve long term your ability to your physical ability to kind of play with your children later on in life, which is really really important to 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 to, to, to most people, and most people leave it too late, and so by the time they're kind of getting into their forties and fifties, they're already struggling to walk. I see it. I, I see it. I just got back from Spain, and I see a busload of tourists arrive, and the last two hundred meters is a steep walk towards the Alhambra in Granada most of them can't make it. So most of them will just stay around the bus and just look at the Alhambra from afar. Whereas if they could make that 200 meter walk uphill, which should be really easy for a 50, 60, 70, 80 year old, it should be quite easy. That would be easy if you lived in Nepal. It would not only be easy, it would be absolutely essential that you would be able to do that. Then they would get to, those people would get to go and see in the Alhambra and they'd get to walk around the Alhambra and they'd be in shadow and it'd be et cetera, but they can't do that. And so there's many, many different reasons why just kind of just sticking at something and making it happen is, is so, 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 so important. And, and it doesn't matter whether you're, you're trying to run a two hour, 10 marathon, two hour, 20 marathon, you're trying to run an Olympic qualifier marathon, you're trying to run 20 minutes for 5K, you're trying to run 50 minutes for 10K, whatever your goal is. Like we said the other, the other day, if you're trying to run 20 times 400 meters in 90 seconds or 100 seconds, um, per rep, it doesn't matter what the goal is, the fact of you sticking at it and, and, and turning it into something that is enjoyable. And that's the magic part. If you can make that enjoyable for yourself, you, you are unstoppable because you can be good and you can be great at absolutely anything. If you can do that with something that you initially don't really enjoy, but you know it's good for you long term, imagine when you find something that you're passionate about, you're good at, and you have all that behind you. It's honestly it's a secret weapon and it makes you unstoppable.